NASA is getting ready for Artemis II mission. The University of Texas at Dallas, in the meantime, is celebrating the 50th anniversary of milestones connected to the very first landing of men on the moon. Our Alexis Wainwright with the special connection the school has to trips to space. Your mission specialist. So for the first time in more than 50 years, humans are going to venture beyond low Earth orbit, where the International Space Station is. Houston, there is no problem as this new crew prepares for takeoff on the latest mission to the moon. University of Texas at Dallas professor Dr. Mary Urquhart, who is a planetary scientist, explains what all of this means. One of the things that's really important about this mission, it's going to be testing life support systems, for example. It's going to be doing all of the preliminary work that's going to get ready to put astronauts near the South Pole. She says this also helps set up future missions for astronauts to actually stay on the moon and explore parts that haven't been seen before. Although the University of Texas at Dallas isn't directly connected to this mission, it has a long tradition of work in space sciences. One of our professors, John Hoffman, was instrumental in the mass spectrometer that actually landed on the moon and was used. That tool tells you the composition of molecules by accelerating them in a magnetic field. This was used during Apollo 15, 16, and 17. Another professor, Dr. James Carter, helped train astronauts in what to look for on the moon ahead of one of the Apollo missions. Faculty members with the university's Southwest Center for Advanced Studies also designed a cosmetic ray experiment to help during the Apollo 11 mission. Urquhart says this helps inspire our future scientists and astronauts. We will actually be sending a woman and a person of color. And this is an amazing, inspirational opportunity. In Dallas, Alexis Wainwright, CBS News, Texas.